Hello everyone, FP here to bring you a cast of the third ESL Go4 Cup. This is an individual tournament for only Europeans that will be running in conjunction with ESL Competition Premiership 14. Each month, leading up to the French Land, French Land Gamers Assembly in April next year, four weekly Go4 Cups and one monthly final will be organized. The players will gather points in these weekly cups, and then the eight best players in total will advance to the monthly final where 150 euro will be handed out to first place. After all cups have been played, the one with the most amount of points in total will also win a paid spot to Gamers Assembly. And after two cups played in December, here are the current uh, rankings. So we see that Kronos is in the lead with 160 points, Onyo is at second, Saber at third, Sneak at fourth, Masa at fifth, Pack at sixth, Spam at seven, and Scrappy at eight. So those are the current 8 players to advance to the monthly final. And then we also got Sax, Sand, Speed You Need, Roa, Beef, Sky, Saffron and Whisper within reach with uh, two weekly cups left to be played. And uh, the first match that I will be casting will be uh, this one which is Sorrow versus Nevermind versus Sack. <clears throat> and I believe they are doing one more warm up and then they will start. The audio as well here and they will start on the map Propfen by Sirs. Poker got the world record 102.76. So this will be the last warm up. And then we will start this match. The format for these weekly cups is uh, cup mode with finalists and the point limit is set to 80 and then for the grand final it's set to 100. Uh, Sack and Nevermind uh, probably should be seen as the favorites here and Sorrow as the outsider. Top 2 will advance to the next round and in the next round Kronos and Beef await. So that's going to be a very uh, interesting match I think. Kronos of course uh, won the first weekly cup and then uh, took third last week. Onyo won uh, last week. Alright, Sack is ready, good luck and fun, and Sorrow is also ready, good luck and fun, Nevermind is ready as well, and I am ready too. So let's start off this match, and this is of course uh, round of 64, so we're skipping one round uh, this uh, week, uh, I believe 42 players uh, checked in. But we are live into the first round following Penta Sack, and he will take the lead. Nevermind plays for Fun Team and Sorrow plays for IGN and Sorrow will fall down to third place early on. Sack and Nevermind take the lead. Oh, and uh, Sorrow will hit the wall, so he's gonna be even further behind. Sack and Nevermind for first place now. Uh, with Sack uh, having a small lead. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. wow, what a way to start this tournament. Never mind, with a spectacular uh, bump from the border, puts him outside of the road. He's not going to be able to finish this one. So that means that uh, Sorrow can take uh, second, but uh, Sack will take first. All right, I'm awake now. <laughs> Sack, 103.35, solid time, and we'll get 10 points. Uh, Sorrow will take second, and then never mind. Se six seconds left on the clock. Can he finish this one? Two, one, zero. No, he will not. So uh, never mind. With no points in the first round, Sack with ten, Sorrow with six. We are playing uh, three rounds on each map. The grand final, we will play four rounds. Second round now of the first map. If Nevermind can bounce back, he will uh, take the lead. It's a good start. Oh, now Sack uh, with a small bump, but then Sorrow will crash. So he will fall down to uh, last position once again. Let's see if Nevermind can uh, defend this first place now. 1300s ahead of Sack. He will attack here in the uphill. Ooh, almost hit the wall. He's still close to Nevermind, and now he will try to go for it there, but uh, also got a bump. You gotta be careful at that turn. 
One sec, I was lucky it didn't uh, end up where Nevermind uh, landed last time. Zoro will actually pass Zack. Can he stay in front though? Zack will hit the wall. So it looks like Zoro will take second. Nevermind will take first. 103.79, Sorrow 105.50, and Zack 0.92. So, uh, two rounds played, Zack in the lead, Sorrow at second place, never mind at third. Only four points between the three players. Alright, so this is the final round of the first map. Oh, and Sorrow will hit the ceiling of the checkpoint. It's gonna be far behind. Not had a good start to this uh, match. So it's once again between Sack and Nevermind, but we still haven't seen a close round. Will this be the first one? Oh, Sack had to slow down a bit, otherwise, he too would have hit the ceiling of the checkpoint. So that was a smart decision by Sack, and he's still in the round. Oh, but then miscalculates that jump and will uh, land into the pole. Sora will pass him again. And another crash there from Sack. Never mind, it's gonna get another easy 10 points. Had a rough start, but uh, definitely have uh, made a strong comeback here and uh, will win again. 103.51, and then Sora with another second place. So. Never mind, we'll go up to 20 points and take over the lead as well. Sack and Sorrow tied with 18 points. As we will uh, go on to the next map, see which one it will be. It is Turn It Around by CBRK and Kappa Dennis with the world record 56.547. So we'll do a warm up round before continuing the match. And so far, it is very close. Point limit is 80, so still a long way to go though. I feel like if Sack and Nevermind can just. Uh, be a bit more stable here, then they should uh, probably be the two players to advance. Or haven't really done so well, but maybe he's better on uh, these other two maps. This map is a bit uh, easier, a bit shorter as well. Usually, uh, close rounds on it. That's gonna be the end of the warm up, and we are continuing this round of 64 match between Nevermind, Sack, and Sorrow. Nevermind currently in the lead, but only with two points ahead, his, ahead of his two opponents. Starting the first round. Straight away we see Sorrow dropping down to third place. Stack with a 500 lead over Nevermind, which isn't much. Sorrow haven't really done any major mistakes, but it's just not. Driving as fast as his uh, two opponents, Nevermind and Sack, battling for first place. Halfway through the round, Sack has the lead. Now with 900, but he cannot feel safe with that. Nevermind could have a strong finish. Ooh, Sack lost his grip a bit there. Nevermind goes a bit too wide. Otherwise, he might have been able to pass Sack. So now Sack should be able to take this round. 57.01. Nevermind point 20 and Sorrow 59.06. Sack regains the lead, 28 points, 2 points ahead of Nevermind. Sorrow at 22 points right now, still a close match. And again.
again Sora having some trouble with this start. As his wheels outside of the road. Makes him lose additional time. Zack again having a small lead over Nevermind now with 1300s. Good speed over the stretch, can extend his lead. Oh, but then goes a bit too close to the wall and gets a bump that puts him into the wall and Nevermind will take over and it will of course also go up in the lead again to reach 36 points. Sorrow still... No, Sorrow has actually gone up to uh, second place. What is Zack doing? Uh, okay, I guess he uh, was not able to continue that round so he's not gonna get any points in this, uh, this time. Nevermind with 10, Sorrow with 6. So Sorrow and Zack tied again with 28 points. Nevermind in the lead with 36. It would be quite an upset if Sorrow actually uh, defeated either Zack or Nevermind. So far, he's still in it. But he always is far behind here in the start. Already with 3500s behind Zack in the lead. This time, never mind. A bit closer though. Oh, but not the best turn. Lands a bit awkwardly and will lose some time. It's a bit too wide here as well. Almost clipped the wall. So, Zack with again this chance to win. Can he do it this time? 2500 ahead of Nevermind. If he makes a mistake, then he will lose that first place. So, gotta make sure he doesn't do that. As we are approaching the last couple of turns. Sack in the lead. 30 hundreds, but needs to slow down. That opens it up for Nevermind. One turn left, but it's still enough for Sack to win it. 57.03, Nevermind.11, and Sorrow 58.90. So that's the end of the second map. Nevermind in the lead with 42, Sack with 38, and Sorrow with 32. So, the third map will be Devotion by Mero and Fighter. Tween got the world record 55.85 uh, and 5. We will uh, return to uh, the first map after this one is played and also to the second one. I believe uh, we usually play 5 maps. So, uh, yeah, another warm up and then we will continue the match. That's the end of the warm up. Good luck and fun. None of the players can uh, reach finalist in this map. Nevermind can reach uh, 72 points. Who wins all three rounds? So far uh, has definitely been the most consistent player. Zack often with the lead, as so is the case this time. But then usually ends up making a mistake. Will that uh, repeat itself again? Sorrow with a uh, slow start, so that is the same. And never mind with a wide line here. Will uh, not catch up to Zack. Zack still in the lead. Good turn there from Sack. 2200s ahead now. Good speed over the long stretch, although he almost crashed and then gets a no drift. Ah, uh, yeah, he got a drift from that bump and was not able to remove the drift mark, so that's why he got a no drift. So Sack once again 
with an early start but not able to capitalize and will fall down to third place. Never mind with another first place. 56.57, Sorrow with second and Sack with third. So Sack is uh, not uh, driving very confident right now. Still at second place. But uh, he easily could have been uh, far ahead of the other two players because he's always been in the lead here in the start. Never mind, that's just uh, taking it safer and. Uh... Oh, but then he hits, hits the wall, so never mind. Uh, never mind, yeah. Never mind, never mind. So, never mind that third place now because of that mistake. Zack will take the lead, Sorrow at second. Sack now with a massive lead. He really doesn't have to take any risks at this point. Just need to. Uh... Oh, Sora will actually hit the wall hard. Will never mind pass. No, he's still far behind. So, uh, yeah. Very. Uh, not a very close round. Sack will also crash here in the end. But doesn't matter. He's gonna win this one. With a great time of 57.52. And Sorrow is next. Seven seconds behind. And then Nevermind takes third. So that was a uh, great round, to say the least. And Sorrow continues to take second, but this time Sack with first, so he will uh, be a bit further behind now. Uh, ahead of uh, Sorrow. Eight points ahead. Never mind, still keeping that first place, but Zack is now very close to him as we have started the final round of the third map. Oh, Sorrow hits the wall. It's gonna put him uh, about one second behind. I, I don't think we still haven't seen a close round. Okay, yeah, I won, I think, on the previous map. That's the only one. Oh, and it's not gonna be this a close round this time either. With Nevermind crashing here, in the middle of the map, Sorrow will pop up and actually pass Nevermind as well. Good stuff by Sorrow. Oh, but uh, not the best turn there. Nevermind might be able to pass him. Yes, he will. Sack has made a mistake again in the end. Oh, and then hits the wall, and Nevermind ball, and Sorrow will pass him. Ah, <laughs> that was. Really unfortunate and unnecessary by Sack, so he's only gonna get four points. And uh, the end of the third map. Uh, that's the end of the third map. Never mind in the lead with 66, Sack at second with 56, and Sorrow at third with 50. Still, somehow, a close match. So, we're back to Propfen now by Sirs. And uh, this uh, might be the last uh, map. Actually, no, it won't probably. We'll see. But uh, Nevermind could win it. On this map, if it does well. First, a warm up round. Uh, yeah, I. Uh, they did change the time of the of the cup. It was a bit too uh, stressful to uh, go from this to the CPS, starting it at three. So I think it's a very good decision to have to start at uh, at two p.m. CET instead. All right, so that's the end of the warm up. Match can start again. And as long as both Sack and Nevermind struggle, Sorrow got a chance. 
but it's gonna be tough. Eventually he needs to win a round as well. Still haven't done that. Oh, he's not gonna win this one, that's for sure. Zack with the early lead. 1300s ahead of Nevermind. Oh, not the best turn there from Nevermind. Zack with much more speed. It's gonna be 30 hundreds ahead now. Oh, and a bad transition from Nevermind, and he's outside of the track again! Just like the first time this map was played. Nevermind, can he get back? Ah, no, he cannot. And this time, uh, or again, will not get any points, so uh, history repeats itself. Sack will take first. 103.02, very good time by Sack. Soro with another second place. So Sack and Nevermind tied now with 6, six points each. Soro only 10 points behind. And uh, now Nevermind with the slowest start. Usually Soro is at the third place at this point, but uh, Soro actually doing very good so far. Keeping that second place, not that far behind Sack. Oh, one Sack is gonna go too wide and hit the checkpoint. Never mind, in the meantime, we'll pass Soro and go up to first place. Oh, and then Soro goes too wide, clips the wall as well, but Sack too far behind, so he still maintained that second place. Never mind, on his way to win. One second ahead of Soro, three seconds ahead of Sack. Should be no problem. 103.67. Soro with another second place, Sack with third this time. So uh, never mind at 76 points now, Sack at 70 and Soro at 62. Both, both Nevermind and Sack can reach finalist. They could also reach it uh, at the same time. Sack needs to win it though. Nevermind just needs to finish the round. He's gonna hit a, hit a wall here in the start. And uh, Sack will have the lead, but can he keep it? doesn't then Sora will probably win his first round. Life's a bit riskier than Soro and uh, as a consequence now is ahead with 5100. hundreds and then actually Soro gaining 700s into the next checkpoint but Zack should win this one he is uh, having a comfortable lead last turn no mistakes and Zack will take it and with that reach finalist and never mind passes Soro who makes a mistake here in the end so never mind and Zack both are finalists now as we uh, enter the next map which will will be turn it around and that will be the final map Soro at 66 points if he can win two rounds in a row then he uh, will go through to the next round but still have not won a round in the match Let's see if the players will do the warm up round I think so
And that's the final warm-up, so let's find out who will be the to two players to advance to the next round, where Beef and Kronos await. That's gonna be a tough match coming up. Zack and Nevermind, both finalists, Zoro at 66 points. the best start. As I always say, Zoro a bit further behind here in the start, 1700s. It's between Sack and Nevermind now for the first spot into the round of 32 and we see Nevermind with a better stretch. We'll take the lead with 20 hundreds. Oh, and then Sack will end up crashing, so looks like Nevermind will advance to the next round. One second ahead of Sack. One turn left, and Nevermind with no further mistakes. 57.06 puts him into the next round. Sorrow uh, will not stay in front of Sack there, so only get four points. He's up to 70 though, which means that. Uh, if he wins two rounds in a row, then he will advance to the next round. Zack has made a lot of mistakes, so keep that in mind. Still a chance here for Sorrow. But I feel like Zack, yeah, he just takes it a bit easier, a bit safer than he should win this one. Because you always have a very comfortable lead. Just uh, a few turns having been uh, driven. Oh, and Sorrow will hit the wall. In that small jump, so uh, now Sack will have to basically uh, not be able to finish the round for Sorrow to uh, stay alive, and that's probably not gonna happen. So far, so good for Sack. It's not really any place where you can even uh, fall out of the track here. He will hit the wall, but can't afford it. Zack slowly but surely will also advance to the next round. So, never mind, Zack, through to round of 32, Sorrow is eliminated. GG.